Hey everyone, I hope you're well. This is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into Bitcoin, bigger the Coins Key Crew. So I think we may have had that correction right now. You know, I don't want to get too excited. I need to see a little bit more structure and data going forward. But I think you know we could be on the cusp of a vertical here over the next few months. We are running into the most bullish months historically for crypto. Uh, so there's an important close coming up in the next week or so. I think it's Monday, isn't it? The end of the month, right there. So we'll keep an eye on that because historically, like I've shown you earlier in the week, right there, if we do see a positive close for uh, Bitcoin in the month of September. It is quite a nice signal and again it's just data that i'm relaying to you the same data that relayed to you way back in march here for those people who remember look at that march the 5th 2024 i began to take some profits i began to look at, across the board at my moves that we've you know been riding in chain link could on over chain so on and so forth and you know i paid myself and this is what i did and i went traveling and things like that and i've come back and i'm now i'm buying you know so now i'm buying because of the data so it flip reverse it so again it doesn't mean i'm absolutely nailed the bottom or anything like that but i'm just taking opportunity again it's a blood fear and depression to jump back into this market and accumulate those lows that we've done a few weeks ago okay the retest cardano rechain ethereum we're doing incredibly well cardano is up 25 percent a minute so that's beautiful i do have some targets on cardano so do check out them videos right there so basically i did tweet out to you have you been sitting on your hands crypto fear and green index sits at 90 don't move fastly approaching if you're looking to get some exposure to bitcoin right now then you're doing it wrong if you pay attention this channel delivers optimal entry points low risk trade setups to negate the long short uh, long spot position trades maximum risk enters the game you buy big green candles you're going to get big red dildos so basically i was just trying to tell you look we're a little bit overextended here a bit of greed in the market well a bit quite a lot of greed according to the metrics and we're hitting this moving average at a pie cycle in indicator basically which i think is an amazing indicator we need to pay attention to that going forward but we've hit it and every time we hit that moving average in every single cycle we have a correction so that's why i anticipated and we got exactly that okay so there was a little bit of extension everyone's like you don't know what you're talking about bitcoin's taking off in space and things like that a bit of negativity some people are on board with me but you know all i do is relay the data and it's the same data that i relayed to you a few weeks ago these are optimal entry points you know pretty much like i said here if you pay attention this channel delivers optimal entry points low risk setups and negate the long spot position trades so I built a few metrics and a few tools on coinskit.com to help you find altcoins. Okay, so definitely get involved in that. I'm going to show you another little tool that I've built uh, over the past week and rolling it out today for the Coinskit crew on the site right there. Let me show you this setup before I show you a couple of charts that have got me incredibly bullish for the future of crypto right here, especially altcoins. So I'm always developing new little things, new little tools and metrics and things like that that can help us with a trading, for example, built this micro zones heat map. So this is a micro zone. It's not necessarily macro, more micro. It's in and out day trades. I'm actually going to shrink this down to the 15 minute time frame. It's something that I am still developing. This currently works on the one hour time frame. So on the one hour, you know, you can clearly see that all these coins up here are overextended. You know, they're in the sky. They're overbought. I wouldn't touch them with a barge pole. I most definitely wouldn't be looking to long any of those. I'll be looking to long the bottom and, you know, by the bottom basically really really simple so if we switch to neutral you can clearly see that 50 i think it's around about 53 percent of the market at the moment is sitting in neutral so if you are bullish you know this is where you want to be buying you want to buy all these coins in the bottom and your neutral coins that are sitting in the floor basically in the neutral zone really really simple logic you don't want to be buying these that have already pumped really really simple okay so you know the top end of the market if we take a look right now you can clearly see the top end of the market is squished up so it's had its move the back end of the market is catching up okay so you've got some of these altcoin laggards having the pumps and this is something i relay to you so basically i've created this crypto market zone so i've been coding this and developing it and logging the zones the, the metrics for the zones that i've created over the past year here this is something i created and rolled out last year for the coins kid crew so I've got a lot of data. So looking back at the data, I've actually created a new section here on coinskid.com in the trading zones view called the 60 day cycle waves. OK, so I think that, you know, Bitcoin moves in 60 day cycles and I've gone through this with you before. And obviously within there we have moons. OK, so I'm going to put the moons into this particular uh, chart eventually. It's something that's on my to do list. But, you know, I'll get that out as soon as I can for you. But, you know, don't moon pump moon for those people who have been on the channel. It's so silly, but it actually it really works. So anyway, aside from that, uh, because I've been logging this metric for so long, the crypto market zones, like I said to you, you know, if you start to see sell strong kick in, a sell warning, and it's far outweighing the, you know, the bottom end of the market, it's a bit of a warning shot. If you're in any longs or any spot positions, take a bit of profit, especially if we start to see a spike. Okay, look at this, a massive spike. So we're getting a huge, huge spike here. 38% of the market on Friday the 23rd of August was telling us, wow, we're really, really overextended here. We're really cooked. So the yellow line is a Bitcoin price. So within the next couple of days of that warning shot, 
we roll over look at that we roll over then what we've got is the flip reverse so you know we've got a buy warning 42 percent a massive amount of the market was telling us you know hang on a minute this is a little bit overextended to the downside the market's really really cool no one's interested we're getting a warning shot that you should be buying a couple of days later boom we reverse and been coming up so at the minute you know we did have a little bit of a warning shot there not a major warning shot though only 11 percent of the market so we've had a little bit of a tick over a pullback and right now we're you know coming back up the stairs here so i don't think the market is as overextended right now as what people think it is and this is why with this metric as well as you know this metric that I've created there for you usd sell and btc buy if we see btc buy above 70 usd sell below 30 and this shooting off into space like it did there then yes, I think we've got an increased probability of a short play in that. It's really simple technical analysis. And then obviously the flip reverse it is if we start to roll over and we're having that retracement, we're looking for the BTC buy to be below 30 and the USD sell to be above 70. And then obviously we're getting the big, big warning shots within the 60 day cycle waves chart that I've created for you. We've got so many metrics stacking up that, okay, we should be entertaining longs right now. So, you know, again, it's data and this is what I rely on in this particular market. I rely on the data, not the emotion of the market. Although I am looking at the emotion of the market because I think that's a key metric that we counter basically. So again, this is why I created this because to so many people get caught up with a herd mentality, negative comments, you know, they're just with the crowd. So I'm against the crowd. This is how you make money in this space. So I hope you understand what I'm talking about. So this is the trading zones on coinskit.com. We'll keep an eye on it. These are all your opportunities in the floor if you're looking for spot positions. I have relayed to you how you can look at the macro zones and find altcoins opportunity yourself, okay? Let me dive into the charts right now and show you what I'm looking at. So take a look at the tweet I'd made this morning. I will get to the Bitcoin chart in a moment with you. Uh, so please be patient. There is a, a two chart that I'm going to show you that's got me incredibly bullish and it's the reason why I did make this tweet this morning okay I will show you in today's video update why you need to sell the house the kids and the car and go all in on crypto PS house and two kids for sale obviously I'm joking you know don't go and sell your children don't go and sell your house and things like that don't be a DJ it was just a bit of fun uh, but right now I'm going to show you why according to two charts that you know if we see this is incredibly bullish let me show you right now okay so going forward these two charts is why i'm at the moment anyway unless i start to see a breakdown in structure i am incredibly bullish on altcoins going forward again okay? i think they're the opportunity in this last leg here for bitcoin this last phase basically so i am taking lots of altcoin positions across the board i'm relaying that message to you i've been posting like crazy in the discord right there i've been equally finding them on the coins kid website for you the buy opportunities down there uh, you know even if they're just retracements they're just opportunities to make money in this space okay because everything's a little bit pressured to the downside isn't it especially on the macro it's like it's got its foot in its head and it just can't get up so they're always the opportunity and you know the data on coins kid is revealing that so this particular chart on the bottom is the S&P 500, basically the king of risk. I've been showing you this chart for years, ever since I've been making these videos, I've been showing you, you know, analysis to confluence of any upside and downside. Uh, just here, we've got this peak and we come down this channel, we broke out way back there. And this, you know, this particular break of this one, two, three, four, five, beautiful broadening ascending bottom, got me really bullish on risk basically and at this point like i said to you know i'm buying crypto i'm buying you know s&p 500 running up to my target the target is not quite been met yet and it's a target i've had for many years with yourselves for those people paying attention so you know once it gets to that target i'll reevaluate and see what crypto's doing at that time because if that enters a bear at that target which is what i'm anticipating for this particular uh, chart right there then yeah you know we could see a little bit of a laggy uh, you know catch up by crypto and then equally that's confluence that the bear market comes to the s&p and the bear market you know comes to the crypto markets right there so i've been looking at this for a very long time with you that i think that in crypto from the bear market bottom of 2018 we're actually in this big cycle and there's five waves in there really really simple and you know i think this corona dump here messed things up a little bit within this particular cycle so we had the one the abc two and then the three and then the irregular four and right now we're in the midst of a final fifth wave here so this particular chart is printing something right now to me and it's the same thing that was printing in the s p 500 chart that i relayed to you basically an inverse head and shoulders pattern and equally a cup and handle pattern now this is a target that was looking at with you for the S&P 500 and we're doing exactly the same on the total two chart so this this chart above is total two basically okay so the ticker is total two crypto total market cap excluding BTC so obviously I'm looking for the invalidation and it's the same thing I was looking at here with you go back to the videos we've got a cup and handle pattern here on the S&P 500 and this is coming back everyone was flipping bearish but when we broke this neckline here this handle 
I flipped incredibly bullish. Okay, he was all really concerned. He was posting comments and things like that because Alessio Ristani, who I absolutely admire and respect, was posting that you know S&P 500 entered the bear market. But like I said to you, we break this resistance, we hold the support of the 20-week EMA, we come up take that neckline out. We're looking at a blow off top here, and I think we've got a, a rinse repeat here. We've got this neckline. Look at that. There's your neckline. Then we come down in the basin. Then you create the handle. Come down in the basin, and right now you're creating the handle. We break this resistance. We could be on the cusp of a vertical here. Break Breaking your time high, breaking your time high for the total market cap. We've got a rinse repeat bullish pattern here on the S&P 500 and obviously, you know, total crypto market cap excluding Bitcoin. So I think we may have a little bit of a cheat sheet. So at the moment, just like there, I was relaying this opportunity to, to you, the cup and handle pound, break that resistance, all systems go. This is something we've got to be patient for. We take this trend line out. Wow, I'm all in on altcoins and I relay that to you. And these altcoins have been mine the past couple of weeks have been absolutely amazing opportunities for ourselves. So keep an eye on the total two chart because I think what we've got is a cycle wave missing here. The fine final fifth wave of one, ABC two, three, a regular four, final fifth wave coming up that consists of five waves. So for me, you know, this is why I do remain bullish. Here we've got a one, flat two, three, four, five. We're in the blow-off top phase for the S&P 500. Here we've got a one, two, three, four, five. We're in the blow-off top phase. If we come from break this neckline here, we're in the blow-off top phase for total two, basically, which is your altcoins, which is why I'm allocating uh, capital to altcoins right now. But again, I'm looking for the invalidation. If we roll and lose this neckline, then obviously I'm wrong in the current time frame. But there's a chance here. We just rinse, repeat the king of risk. We're just lagging it and catching it up. So like I've always relayed to you, the clues are in other charts this is why i should do show you other charts let me dive into the bitcoin price action right now to see what's going on okay so looking at bitcoin on the daily time frame yesterday we did print a bearish engulfing candle so this could be a little clue that we are about to have a little pull back into support before continuation but i'm not going to entertain a short at the moment because like i said to you earlier in the video i don't see the metrics lining up at the moment for the short op i'm looking for the bitcoin to get to 70 and i'm looking for the usd to get to 30 as well as a spike up in the waves indicator right there that i've created for yourselves okay so i'm looking for that and i think that's an increased probability of a short op so potentially we get a little stop here stop on just there like i said to you in a recent video we come up yeah and then boom back down to test support and then we go and we've got the perfect one two one two set up here uh, for bitcoin okay which is something i'm looking at a very bullish uh, count basically so what i think we've got and this is something i'm looking at i'll be patient for the short just because we're into this resistance right now we've got the bearish engulfing candle i'm not going to entertain the short at this point but again it's entirely up to you you can do that if you fancy going short on bit get a buy bit it's entirely up to you it's a very minimal risk trade right now just go short put your stop loss in the pivot eye which is what a lot of people are doing around right about 0.8 percent short up for you right there but for me personally I'm not going to entertain that at the moment just because it's a bearish engulfing candle, uh, you know, because I've got data, what I've shown you is stacking up that for me, Bitcoin's incredibly bullish. Now, I am looking for a little swing up basically into resistance, come back, look to short it back down and then I'm going to go long. OK, so I'm riding the waves with you. So again, I'll use that metric right there as a guide and a clue to going short and long right there with you. OK, so what we've got. As expected on this moving average, look at that. I made the tweet on around about 5th of March. A couple of days later, went back up. Everyone's like, oh, you're an idiot. You don't know what you're talking about. But then look at that. Huge correction ever since. Now, in every cycle, we correct on that moving average once we attack it for the first time. So I think what we've done, we've had this sideways correction, potentially WXY correction. And right now we're working bullish here for Bitcoin. The invalidation in the short term is really simple. This red line, 52543, uh, 523. 545 five, break down below that then my you know my bullish cam my bullish setup that we're looking at exponential move here for bitcoin is completely off the table so basically if we break down below that yeah i will think about exiting my position and i'll give you targets buy back lower and then we could look at this some kind of a some kind of b some kind of c absolutely but i think we, we're so far gone into this market right now and the clues in the s p 500 and the potential break of that you know pattern right there for the total market cap the total two market cap sorry and many other metrics that i'm looking at that this could be the cusp here this could be the you know the correction we've gone through the abc or the wxy what you want to call it the double three the double three the double three and right now we're breaking bullish so you know we're above the moving averages like i said to you at this point we get our ass back above that moving average as a chance here we could run towards the next moving average so if we take a look at this scenario basically really really simple from here right now if bitcoin was to ramp up to that moving average you're looking around about 69 percent for me, you know, that is not an opportunity. Uh, I think opportunities are in altcoins because typically at this stage of the cycle, if we are nearing this, you know, last vertical here for Bitcoin, I'm looking at, you know, altcoins. And this is why I've been relaying that to you. Cardano, VeChain, you know, Chainlink, XRP even. You know, I think XRP's got a potential 10x of, in it within the last, last phase of the cycle. So obviously I'm looking to to be invalidated. Again, I've not got a crystal ball. Don't shoot the messenger. But all I do is relay the data to you, the invalidation right now. If we start to break down below this, you can clearly see, uh, you know, what we do 
and we fell into this pattern and we're beginning to negate it if we do that we're having something called a throwback because equally at the bottom here of the wxy correction we've been tracking this beautiful diamond bottom pattern that we've broken out of so again i wish i had the most look but i like to trade patterns this is something i relay to you we traded that monster pattern on bitcoin at the falling wedge way back in i think it was november 2022 when we broke out down there so what we're doing in this time frame right now as hard as it's to believe for bitcoin we are doing a, a lot of things we did there and there basically for bitcoin so i'll go through this with you and i did relay this earlier in the week so right now i just want to relay to you i'm not actually entertaining a short yet until i see a little bit more data so stay tuned for that particular short because i do think one's coming because uh, remember what goes up must come down and i'll relay that data to you in time so what i think we've got is basically the data right now is telling us that bitcoin is incredibly bullish and we should not ignore uh, this particular statement from bitcoin okay let me show you right now where is it 200 ema so these four moving averages i think are really important so let me get rid of the pi cycle indicator for you just now okay so basically what we've got is a cluster of emas right towards the break of this beautiful reversal pattern okay and this is typically what we see at the bottom of these patterns so what we've done we broke the apex and in the cusp of the apex look at that we've broke out and we've got a golden cross on a 20 10 and 55 ema above the 200 ema the last two times since the corrective bottom down there in november bitcoin has gone on a rampage it was a clue which i relay to you so this bottom here we've got this correction way back here april abc we got the one into the two into the three into the four into the five right towards the break we broke our ass back above the 200 ema we're in a one two one two setup which is something i'm targeting right now for bitcoin and then we broke incredibly bullish here okay for the crypto markets we're putting that huge third wave so if we take a look at this particular scenario right towards the apex get the golden crosses then this break led to the golden crosses above the 200 ema it was a major clue that was looking at a massive impulsive wave one which we got sideways crypto wave two then the data here gave us a warning shot that we we're looking at big third wave and it's the same data i was relaying there as i was relaying there i'm relaying right now okay so again data not emotion i'm looking for the data to be invalidated how will it get invalidated really really simple if we come up like this and we break down below 200 ema and start turning to resistance then okay we've got a, bear, a bull trap basically and this data is not ringing true but i'm going to give it credit where it's due i like to rely on the data over emotion what we've got is the data there told us we're having that wave one the data there we told us that we're having that wave three the data here is potentially telling us we're having this wave five and at that point bear market i understand the update stay healthy stay strong stay tuned keep an eye on the discord and the videos for this, the short setup that i'm looking at just to retest the support going forward okay take care everyone back to another update on bitcoin stay healthy stay strong stay tuned bye bye